Alright guys, the detective realizes the suspect is dying. Let's check it out. You're telling me they shot you with a revolver in your eye. Yes. Is it a BB gun? Oh snap, what the heck? Guys, why don't they get him? Oh my gosh, bro. Get the guy medical attention. What is going on? Detective real life. No, it was a real gun, man. It was just a revolver. They shot you in the eye. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. It was most likely you'd be dead. But little did police officers... No, oh, bro. I feel bad for him, man. Like, come on, dude. Get him some help. What's going on here, bros? No, he was actually telling the truth. As while well, 18-year-old Ryan was being mocked by detectives, he was... Just, I know, right? Just look at, look at, the, like, I realize the tone of his voice and everything, guys. Like, you know, he's going, like, come on now, man. I, I legit. Suffering from a gunshot to the head and experiencing a brain bleed that could end his life at any. Gosh. But punctured his sinus, bone, and brain, and the meal was slowly entering his brain. What, what, what do they mean by the meal was so lowly? Like, I think a meal was, I don't know. Any moment. Uh, I'll put injury there instead of meal. Unless, uh, you know, I don't know what what they mean by meal, guys. What was going on here, fam? <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's keep playing. The go video? Sleep and try to go back to bed. You're not going back to bed. On the 20th. Yeah. Look at him. He's, he's literally, literally like... Very much in pain, it seems, bro. Come on now. 3rd of December 2006, two men broke into Ryan Waller's house looking for revenge for. Bro. Broke into Ryan Waller. He's got a lazy eye just like me, but not, not as bad as me, thankfully. Waller's house. That's a suspect, right? Looking for revenge for a past argument. Ryan heard the noise at the door, but when he went to investigate, a hand reached inside and shot him twice in the eye. The two men, Richie and Larry Carver, then entered his house and shot Ryan's girlfriend, Heather, killing her instantly. By some miracle, 18-year-old Ryan survived and was able to talk to police when they arrived hours later. Given he'd just been shot in the head, Dude. He told them he had no idea what happened, but instead of being taken straight to the hospital, he was taken to the police station and interrogated for the longest hour of his life. He also sat in a patrol car for four hours with no medical attention. What is this police department thinking, bro? I'm, I'm legit sad, bro. Like, come on now. Like, what is going on here, bro? I can't believe it. Before the interview, I'm in awe, bro. Like, look at him, man. Started. Ryan was left in the room alone. He squirmed in pain for 20 minutes straight, and worse yet, he was handcuffed to the desk and unable to scream for help. The guy's innocent, first of all, man. Like, probably doesn't even have a gun on him or in the house. Maybe not. Like, come on now. Like, this is so sad. Um, look, look at him, bro. He's just a innocent dude, bro. He's looking at his charges like, oh my gosh. Ryan is obviously not okay, but the detectives begin the interrogation anyway. You know why you're down here, Ryan? You have no idea why you're down here? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what happened, okay? So I'm going to read you something to make sure you understand your rights, okay? Ever seen that TV show Cops or CSI or anything like that? Okay. Ever seen that? No. You've never seen any kind of cop show? Lawyer show? Any kind of show? Yeah. Okay. Guys, he's like incoherent. Like, you know, he's in the, his body's in like shock right now, man. Look at him, bro. Hopefully his eye's okay. We're going to hope it's okay after we're praying for him, man. Why you listen up real close? Okay, you have the right to remain silent. Look, he's squirming, bro. Like, why arrest him, bro? So sad. I hope he lawsuits them. He, he must lawsuit them for like millions after after this ordeal, bro. You say it can't be used against you in a court of law. What's the um, highest grade you went through school? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know what the highest grade you went through? 8th? 8th grade? 
Did you graduate? Yeah. Did you do you have a GED? I don't know. You don't uh, know what? I don't know. I don't know. You know, it reminds me of like a parent pestering their like kid or something, bro. Like, and you just doesn't want. That, that's the tone I. That's the tone I use, guys. I just want to go home. Oh, you're, you're not gonna go home right now. What's the highest grade that you completed? B. Guys, why is he even asking this, bro? This this has nothing to do with what went on. You come on, yeah. What's detective doing right here, bro? Not, not grade, as in letter grade. I'm asking, did you graduate high school? No. And the highest you went was eighth grade? Mm, yeah. Do you know how to read and write, Ryan? Yeah. The way the detective is talking to Ryan implies that he knows something is wrong. He's raising his voice slightly, slowing down, and talking in very simplified language just as you would a child. Yet even with the massive red mark around Ryan's face and the dazed responses he's giving, the detective still decides that nothing is wrong and continues questioning him. Well, man. Shaking my head. Do you have a girlfriend? Mm. Mm -mm. No? You know, you know a girl named Heather? Mm-hmm. What is Heather's last name? Um, the one that lives there right now? I guess, I don't know. If her name's Heather, what's her last name? I don't know which name she's trying to use as her last one. As I, I've been in a traumatic, I've been traumatically injured before I was hit by a car and I, I gave the same responses. As a matter of fact, I didn't even get help until like, uh, the day after bros. I literally went to sleep. With my testicle dislodged from my like scrotum guys. I was badly injured and I didn't get medical, medical attention until like 10 hours afterwards bro because I was so badly injured. Like so, so like inco like incoherently like injured, bro. I didn't know what 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 to do there, guys. She's trying to have a real last as her nickname. So I don't know. What nickname does she go by? She probably wants the last name Kaiman. Kaiman. How old is Heather? Sixteen or seventeen. Is she a white girl. Yeah. How did you meet Heather? I've known her. In school, I don't know. You just know her from school. She used to be a business name. Hey, bro, like it, it really, it literally hurts to watch this because the guy needs help, man. And he's he's legit doing a police interrogation with a a wound just straight up on his face like that. Like, come on now. I wonder if he's gonna like ask if he needs like uh, help at any point during this interview, man. Like, come on now. She was being a class, your business class? Mm-hmm. All right. What happened to your face? I don't know. You told the officer just a few minutes ago that someone hit you. Do you remember who hit you? I think it was Heather. Why would Heather hit you? It was an accident. I forgot why. What was an accident? Heather's last name? No. What was an accident? Heather hitting me. What did she hit you with? Her hand and the eye. Did you guys have an argument? Not really, no. And he doesn't even know what hit him, bro. But the way he's, you know, blaming the girlfriend, or it makes, you know, the detective think as a possible motive that he actually, you know, got in a fight with her. So that's what I think I'm thinking he thinks. Not really? Uh oh. What happened for her to hit you in the eye like that? She just hit me on accident. She was giving Christina a head. She was what? She was helping Christina with her hair or something, I don't know. Who's Christina? She's on the couch. But yeah, like that that's the kind of tone, like almost a 
literally the the kind of tone that I would uh, give if you just like woke me up and I, you know what I mean, like grumpiness, morning grumpiness. I, I legit it sound. It sounds like me. It sa that's how I sound, guys. That's my morning grumpiness kind of a tone, a voice. Christina's on the couch. Ryan and Heather lived with another person whose name isn't public. There's a possibility that it's the Christina he's referring to here, but either way, nobody else was home at any point of the night of the attack. Ryan is clearly suffering traumatic brain injury, and it's astonishing that the detective isn't connecting the dots. Oh my gosh, man. Bad, bro. Bad. Like, he literally, you know, probably has to get sedated for this. But, but Detective doesn't care, sadly. Even if it was just blunt force like Ryan is telling him, he still should be checked out by a doctor given how he's acting. But of He definitely needs surgery as well. Of course, that's not how it happens. Instead, it somehow gets even more messed up. What happened last night? I don't know. Oh, he's going to start his uh, pestering questions on him as well, man. Check it out, man. We we finally got a light in the background. Let me know how what you think of it. You don't know. I really don't. I just want to go to sleep and go to sleep. Well, you remember Heather hitting you in the eye, right? I don't know what anybody was doing. I really don't. Who was in the house when you went to sleep? Christina and Heather. Christina and Heather. Mm hmm. And Christina was on the couch. Heather was. Heather was on the couch. Yeah, a anyone else can see how, you know, like, the Texas get them to fabricate stories just to, like, get out of the room. Even though they're, they're gonna, like, rack on charges. So, like, you know, they get them in this, like, room where they're, they can't leave their handcuffs and stuff, and, you know, bad, bad bro. You told me Christina was on it. So they just, like, you know... Tell the truth or whatever to end the, the, the interview. Just so they can, you know, move on to the next step. But the next step they're moving on to is like the jail cell. But, the, you know, when you have the handcuffs on, trust me, that's the only... You, you, you want nothing more than the handcuffs being off, right, guys? Oh, just a minute ago. I don't know, man. I really don't. I just want to go to sleep and go to sleep, man. Ryan, you're not gonna go anywhere. Do you know what happened in your house last night? Mm-hmm. Is that house yours? Mm-hmm. Yours or your parents? Mine. Why, what happened? I don't know what happened. You're all beat up. So tell me what happened. I don't know. I just wanna go to sleep, man. That's it. There's what? a dead girl in your living room. She's dead? Yes. Heather? I don't know. I wanna know what happened. Your what do you mean he said I I don't know bro just tell her tell I mean tell him guys like come on what, what do you mean he doesn't know bro and then he starts with the pestering questions again man last night the girl on the couch is dead I don't know if she's on the couch she's dead that kind of woke him up a little man because that's his girlfriend right guys well these people came over Richie and his dad with shooting arrow blowing darts you know what I'm talking about yeah. They hit me and her with those. That's it. And Heather wasn't there. And Eric wasn't there. It was just me and Heather. What was there? You and Heather were there. And then what happened? And that's it. Richie and his dad tried to break in to the back. Richie and dad? His dad? Mm hmm. Who's Richie? As you think it is. You think this is just, um, like a completely fabricated story? Like he's barely conscious here? That's what I'm starting to think. He might start, like, passing out. I don't know. Well, you obviously know him. You know his name by your He used to live there. Was he a roommate of yours? He used to be. They hit you? Yeah. Now it's Richie that hit you? Not Heather? No, Richie and his dad. Richie and his dad. They hit you. By the way, I bet the detective is so embarrassed after this, bro, because he, you know, he does so many interrogations. He's not even like thinking here. He think he's he's thinking it's like just like a black eye or something, bro. Yes. Why? Because they're trying to get their stuff. I don't know why. And they had some kind of bow and arrows. Mm-hmm. 
They each had two revolvers and they didn't let off any shells. Okay, you just said they had bow and arrows. Now they have revolvers? That's what I meant, they have revolvers. They have revolvers? Yes. And then what happened? And then they shot us with those. They shot both of you? Yeah. Where'd they shoot you at? I got shot in the eye. You I got think. shot in the eye? I think so. With a revolver? I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Fuck. Then what happened? I don't know. You don't know a lot, Ryan. I don't, man. I really don't. I'd like to see this detective try and articulate himself anywhere near as Ryan is in this situation. He's managed to recount the exact sequence of events as, as well as the perpetrator's names with the revolver bullet still in his brain. What the heck? No way, the bullet is still in his brain. What? Wow, man. So he knows that he knows the perpetrators. So are they trying to? So he actually knows them guys? I thought they were just random like uh, robbers. Pain. Well, why would somebody try to kill them, man? And actually somebody killed them. It's so sad. It does sound like an unbelievable story and that's probably why the cop is essentially laughing at him by now. But that still doesn't excuse any part of what's going on. He's obviously distressed, in pain, and needs to go to the hospital. But he's still more than half an hour away from any form of salvation. Ryan, why don't you tell me what really happened there? Because I don't believe. I really don't know, man. I really don't. I don't know. I can tell you anything, I swear. Well, I want you to tell me the truth. That's all I want. Bro, I'd like break down crying, man. I, I, I feel like doing it right now watching this. This is just sad. Well, Richie and his dad came there. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why, but they put me in sleeping hold and like they put me in sleeping hold with the arrows and shit. Like I lived through the sh that crap. Okay, they they put you in a sleeping hold. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I what, really what you... don't. I don't know, man. You're telling me they put. Damn, bro, he's in so much pain. He's standing up, guys. Like. You're in a sleeping hold. What is a sleeping hold? I don't know. Well, explain it. Thing is, literally, like you know, if he d didn't get medical attention, he's not gonna survive here, man. Let's hope he actually survives this as well, man. Hey, that's coming out of your mouth. Explain that. He's squirming and like he's in agonizing pain, bro. He, he should have said he he needed like a doctor. I'm not sure if he did when he was in the car for four hours. What's the sleeping hole? I really don't know, man. Okay. You're telling me, you're, you're all over the board here, number one. You're saying bows and arrows, you're saying revolvers, and you're saying some other thing, and they, you're saying they shot you in the eye, okay? They shot you with a revolver in your eye. Yes. And that's Is it. it a BB gun? No, it was a real gun, man. It was just a revolver. They shot you in the eye with a revolver. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. It was most likely you'd be dead. That's what I thought too, man. I really don't know. I really don't know. And I hey, he's being respectful here through all of this. He's not like insulting the deputy, man. I, I, oh my gosh, I said it a lot, but I just feel sad for him, man. I just want to go back to sleep and try to go back to bed. You're not going back to bed, okay? That's not going to happen. What happened to Heather? Hey, it looks like he was going to cry right there. Heather got shot. Where did she get shot? Inside the face once. She got shot inside of the face? Mm hmm How close were you to her when she got shot in the face? It was after I got shot, so I didn't even hear anything. So you got shot first? Uh hmm And what happened? Did you fall to the ground? Yeah, I was trying to get up and shit, and I couldn't. And then she got shot? Mm hmm and what, why, what, what did you do? Did you call 911? Uh-uh. Did you see if she was alive? She was sleeping still, and that's it. I just let her sleep. She got shot in the side of the face, and you let her sleep? Yes. This does not make sense, Ryan. I know I didn't mean to, man. I'm sorry. I didn't know she was passing out. That's because I got shot wrong once, too, and I was going to pass out. Okay, this is now, not before. Man, come on now. Like, he's... Like a bullet wound to the face? And he's thinking, 
He was still trying to go through. It's a standard interrogation protocol. Like, nothing happened, man. Sag. You're saying right now you've been shot. Yes. In the eye. Yes. With a revolver. Yes. All right. Ryan, you need to start telling me the truth because your story doesn't make sense. I'm sure. You know what I mean? He's in his standard, like, oh, it's just another murder case kind of thing, bro. Like, Ryan, man, I don't know. Just ask me anything and I'll tell you the truth. Just ask me. Well, I'm trying to, and you're not even coming close to the truth. Go ahead and ask me. What happened with you and Heather last night? Her dad came and shot the house. And shot her? Mm hmm. Look at him. He's going in his, like, you know, protocol kind of like body language, trying to, like, Portray, you know, that he's doubtful about the situation or whatever, man. Taking my head. Her dad shot her. Mm hmm. All right. And then leaves. Mm hmm. And what did you do? I tried to go back to sleep. After you've been shot? Mm hmm. In the eye? Mm hmm. You didn't know enough to call 911? Mm hmm. Why did you call 911? Because I was just trying to go to sleep. That's it. You just saw. Richie's and his dad shoot your girlfriend and you just felt like you needed to go to sleep? Ryan, look at me. Ryan. Yes. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Why did you shoot Heather? Dang, bro. He's in shock, like, emotionally and physically because he just learned she died, man. Ryan. I didn't shoot Heather. She was already shot once by her brother, I swear. Richie. Yes. Richie shot his own sister. Yes, I swear. That's it. Sit down. Not me. And you've been shot in the eye. Yes. Wow, I mean, look look at him, bro. He's injured. You think he'd just shoot himself? What is going on here? That's what he probably thinks, right? I didn't think of that as a motive, but still. Put your feet off my table, please. My feet hurt, man. I don't know why. Get him off my table. Let me see your nose. Put your, put your, legs, put your legs down. Put your legs down. Bring, bring your face closer. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. Yeah, be, be right back. Oh, now he thinks to get medical. Finally, the detective at least considers the fact that Ryan might be in some form of physical distress. He leaves the room to ask for an ambulance and returns momentarily to try and get a few more details about the shooting. Ryan clarifies that Heather isn't related to Richie or his dad and that he's got no idea why they attacked him that evening. Ten minutes later, the fire department arrives to take a look at Ryan's injury. He's acting uh, like he has a serious head injury, which would make sense. But you guys confirm Ryan. Yeah, we'll take him. I don't know why. Yeah, we can tell. Is that all? Has it been like that before or just happened tonight? Like this for like a day or so. I wonder so it happened what? The other night? I don't know. You don't know what happened. Were there guns around? Bro, I'm trying to hold back tears. Finally, they got help for him, man. This kid Eric did it. I don't know how he did it exactly. I might have been shot, I don't know. Are you waiting on I don't know. It looks like it went right through, huh? Yeah, it might have, I don't know. <laughs> Ryan gets his blood pressure taken and finally, after 56 minutes of unnecessary and ultimately deadly interrogation, he's taken to the hospital. Upon inspection at the hospital, doctors immediately realized his status was critical and that he also had indeed been shot in the eye. They also told his father that he'd contracted an infection that could have been prevented had he received proper care. Ryan stayed at the hospital for 35 days and lost part of his brain and his left eye. No, oh man. Worst of all though, he experienced regular seizures from the day he left the hospital until 2016 when one finally took his life. No, oh, man. Richie and Larry were both given life in prison without the possibility of parole. Guys, hold on. We got to read some comments here. That's so sad. You're telling me.
so angry I had the detective handle this situation. There's no reason he was, was it? Didn't know torture was legal in America. And a cop also deserves life in prison, man. Someone lost their life because of this. Because of dete this detective, guys. Like, or what, what? What the whole police department did? Oh my gosh, bro. Legit, man. That's so sad, bro. All right, guys. That's a video. Thank for watching. Uh, I'm not sure if there's like a lawsuit after what happened, but this is just terrible. And I'm pretty depressed watching it, man. So yeah. See you guys next video. Check out Dr. Insanity. I do all my reactions live on Twitch. Maybe consider donating. Don't make any money doing this currently. Later.